Hey guys, welcome to Daily DSA Practice, and this is Shreyansh. And today I'm going to share the book which I have been following from my college days, uh, placement preparation, and it's almost eight years of experience now. But I'm still following that book. I always kept it with me. Like if I am going anywhere and I have a bag, this book is always, always, always with me, right? And why it is important to have a book, right? When we have so much online platforms to practice DSA and all those things. So see, the major problem is like we there are many cases when where we cannot bring our laptop, where internet is not accessible, right? And sometimes what happen the one of the biggest you can say that. There are a lot of advantages, right, of laptop, internet, and all these resources available online. But the major disadvantage which I see is like if I want a quick revision of any topic, and I don't need to waste much time. One of the biggest disadvantages is like I start with that topic, but somehow end up like doing something like uh, watching some trailer or maybe if uh, reading some uh, something else, right, which is no nowhere related. So that. 10-15 minutes which I have planned it might stretch to some time hours. So this is something where the books really can help, right? And that's why I wanted to share the DSA book which I am following too much and maybe it might help others also if they don't know this books this books exist or what is the benefit of having a book? You can also follow the other books or you can also ping me the in the comment what all book you follow, right? So. This is the book which I follow, Data Structures and Algorithm Made Easy by Narsima Karamunchi sir. Uh, he is from IIT Bombay and I think currently he is working in Microsoft, right? So the good part is it this book has concepts, problems, and interview questions also, right? So just pick any. So I think it has almost. Take anything. It almost has 21 chapters, right? I'll give you a quick like what all chapter it has. It has uh, this our time complexities and all recursion, linked list, stack, queues, trees, priority queue, disjoint set, graph, sorting, searching, selection algorithms, symbol tables, hashing, string algorithms, algorithm design techniques. I am not sure. I need to go through this. Greedy algorithms. Divide and conquer algorithms, dynamic programming, complexity classes, and bit program, uh, bitwise programming. So there are 21 chap, uh, 21 chapters, and this is the currently I have the fifth edition. So if you see that this is kind of uh, fresh, right? Because I I think last year I bought it because the book which I used to have, right? Uh, it is like old edition. So I but I always keep its latest edition. And also one more thing is this is uh, the see this is how let's say i'm opening any random page so any question so let's say this is a problem right so i'm not sure if it is properly visible so let's say problem number 17 so they also have a solution for it but currently it is in c plus plus you can i'm planning to now bought like if there is any java version of this also so but this book is something which i follow and i generally wanted to thank you narsima sir that this book is really helped me a lot like uh, generally what happened is whenever I go and I have a bag this book will always with me always right and there are certain you can say that algorithms or topics which are very very important like you know DFS BFS and if I somebody ask you hey when to use BFS when to use DFS can you tell me what are the time complexity hey can you tell me uh like quick sort, must sort, topology sort, like so. If you go every topic and go multiple subtopics out of it, so let's say I am picking graph as a topic and multiple subtopics DFS, BFS, topological sort, and all these things. The good part is this book has it all, right? With diagrams, so I'll show you the diagram. So I just open any random page and see it's a lot of graphs, a uh, lot of diagrams. You will see, I don't know what chapter it is, it is linked list. So lot of with diagrams it explained, right? So this is like a priority queue and hips. So every page you have a diagrams also. So that's why I like this book. And the thing is it has properly explained the time complexity, space complexity. So 
any point of time any point of day then i don't want feel like hey, doing solving a problem and all i just take read out its interview questions like okay this was the question this is the approach and this is the solution currently it's in c++ but at least i just read out the approach so even though it's okay right my dsa is in touch like because of this book like many time happen right you have a lot of wasted time like you are not doing anything you cannot open your laptop you can't do anything you are just sitting but if you have a book right this one like in my bag i i always say that this book is always with me even i am going for a traveling even i am going for a traveling in the, with the book i just uh, with the my bag i just kept this book even sometime happens like i don't even open this book when i am traveling and all but it's my habit now i always keep one book with uh, dsa like uh, with this many times happen right you are stuck you don't have anything you are getting bored right and you don't have anything to do what to do i just open and just uh, brush up certain topics and all it hardly takes uh, uh, 15 20 minutes but at sometime it happen with the time pass sometimes you just uh, utilizing your time with loud wasting online right so lot of advantages of the book and that's my today which i wanted to show the books which i follow and i am eagerly waiting for you to tell me which book you are following or you are totally relying on the online platforms okay see you guys soon bye